guys had a good night's sleep. I hope you woke up today feeling happy, safe, and peaceful. Thank you to everyone that has liked, commented, subscribed, and gave donations. All right, Piscianos, happy Wednesday. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, let's see what we have going on for today. Let's pull some or one of these. I don't know the name, but they're by Maruka X. We also have the Seven of Pentacles there at the bottom. Spirit, angels, <coughs> ancestors, and higher beings, please help me with this message today for my beautiful pie seeds people, my Piscianos. What messages do we have for Pisces? We got clarity. You know what I, I'm hearing? Um, that song. Gravity is working against me. Oh, and gravity wants to take me down. Oh, I forget the words. This is so old. John Mayer, though. I do remember that. All right, um, I heard, okay, let me read this, hold on. If you think it through and act wisely, you will come out on top. Use your mental power to navigate this path. All right, all right. I like to explain what I feel and see through what's here so you can see where it's coming from. So Seven of Pentacles, you know, in upright, there's a lot, Pisces, that you have invested in, that you're working on. You know, this person looks worried, let's be real. They put in a lot of work, they put in a lot of effort because they need to make money, they need they need uh, time, energy in their lives, you know, and they put in work. Um, but it's like that song, Gravity, you know, like, Gravity is working against me. You know, it wants to bring me down. It's like reverse Pisces and saying like, huh, ease up, Pisces, ease up. Yes, I understand the hamster wheel of life. I understand, you know, um, the need to, to make money, to stay on top, to um, get everything done. To a, It's a great, isn't it a great feeling when you have, you know, 20 things to do and you bang, 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 and you check them all out? What this is telling me here is like, focus on the one, focus on the two. Try not to get so much on your plate because you might be able to make that one or two thing work better than if you invested in so many different areas of your life. Like be very smart on what your what's working for you right now what's not working for you like let's dump what's not working for you and let's keep what's working maybe a slow process but maybe you're enjoying it and let's put more energy and focus into that let me read this again it says if you think it through and act wisely you will come out on top use your mental power to navigate this path it's it is mental power because that's what the sword is it's mental power it's clarity and sometimes we can we were it's a little like foggy because we have so much and so much that we want to do and so much that we're trying to manifest and and um, achieve but I just feel like an overwhelming sense of like 
it's like gravity it will fall down it all falls down Pisces so take one two things feel them out as well we are Piscianos we don't do everything mental we feel and where do you feel the best in where do you where do you feel like you should be investing your time in and don't it could be very surprising to you because sometimes it's that place where you may not be making the most <clears throat> but it makes you feel your best but also use your your intellect here in how you invest your time in this area this goes beyond work this isn't with people as well I, I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but I definitely feel it. It's like, it's we want to live our lives to the fullest and we want to achieve so much in it. But at the same time, there's so many different elements that we could be focusing more on and making the best out of that. It's like doing things half-ass. You know, it's like when we can put what we really want to do, put more love and attention into it. And then once we start feeling good in it, that'll start growing. Once we start learning more or diving deeper into those situations or that area or that person, things can grow. That's how you're going to make something work. You can't work so many things, so you're, you know, that you're trying to juggle out there. All right, let's see. I don't know if that made sense. All right, spirit, tell me more. Three of Wands. Mm, gravity is working against me. Wow, it was an old song, but I loved it. Mm, I don't remember the words. I'm going to have to listen to it one later. So we got Three of Wands, the Hierophant, Temperance, and the Four of Cups. So Hierophant is my God card. Three of Wands is my card of being your highest form. How can you be your highest form when you can't focus on just one or two or three things, whatever this is, Pisces, you're like all over the place because I understand it. I'm not judging you. We all fall into that trap of, like I said, like how great is that feeling when you got it all accomplished, done, everything's checked off, I'm good. But then it just every day, can you do this every day? Can you sustain this energy every day? And that's what I'm picking up here. Can you? Are you going to like it? Four of Cups over here is the energy in reverse. It's talking about not... Um, you see, this person typically is... What is that word? A apathetic? Bored? With life. Why? Because they got a lot of things to focus on. When the universe, God, is clearly telling you, Hey, look at this one thing. This one makes you feel good in life. This one makes you feel more alive. This one you enjoy doing, but then you're over there saying, yeah, but you know, it don't pay, how am, I, how am I gonna pay my rent? You know, how am I gonna do these things? And I understand, you know, use discernment with, the, with this too, Pisces, but maybe that means that there's other things you can cut in your life. I don't know if I'm making sense today, but I definitely feel it. Definitely listening to a higher power, Pisces. Definitely getting some type of information or downloads from something bigger than yourself. There's some things that I feel like God is talking to you about and telling you to let go. Here's the temperance energy. A lot of times temperance for me has to do with, um, in reverse in particular, is like there's something that's not letting you balance your life well. For some people, this could be, the example would be like alcohol or something else, you know, whatever. Person, addictions, I don't know. And it's like you got to really take stock of your life and see what is not helping you and what is hindering you. Like there has to be some clarity, but also with some, some knowledge, you know, like let's, let me read into this. Let me look into this. And if that means not being all over the place, you know, us Pisces, sometimes we can't help it because we're dreamers. We have a serious imagination. And then not to mention the fact that we 
see a lot, feel a lot, and know a lot. You know, this will add to the worlds that we create in our life. But it's like there's this one world that if you just stay grounded enough in it, put enough attention into that one, enough love and water that one enough, it'll make all the other worlds come together as opposed to being like all over the place or having so much on your plate. It doesn't have to be this hard. We make it hard because we put more pressure on ourselves to be better, to do better, to have more, to keep up with the Joneses. I know we don't really keep up with the Joneses, but in some ways we do because we live in this world and we need to, how you gonna pay your bills, you know, type of energy. But you have ways, you have multiple ways. You just gotta put more love and attention, dedication, intelligence, knowledge in. I did see knowledge somewhere. Where did I say in the bottom of this deck? Nope, not this one. Travel, no. What deck did I use? This one, I'm sorry. There you go, it's knowledge. Sometimes I look at the bottom. Demonstrate your willingness to learn, whether personally or professionally. Be willing to make mistakes. So for me, it's telling me like if you have a passion for something or if you have a desire or if you just feel good in an area and this could be about a relationship. What if a person really makes you feel good? What if they do Pisces? And but you with all the baggage, with everything else that you have, you don't put time or energy into that person. And next thing you know, you lose out. because other things told you. Now, of course, use discernment because if this person makes you feel some types of way and they take you off course and make you feel unbalanced, then run. But I'm talking about the ones that you kind of had a, a good vibe from. You pick up something good and then you're like, but I don't know if I should invest more time because I have a lot of other things going on in my life. And it's like, eventually, this, what I'm feeling here is like, if you do this in an intelligent manner, this could be something that excites you and brings you to a higher purpose. It could be the one, it could be someone that leads you to the one or something big, bigger, you know, I don't know Pisces, but I definitely feel that with that three of wands and the hair font here. Let's go a little bit deeper. I don't think I'm making sense today. Ace of Pentacles, that's the money Pisces, King of Pentacles, and then that's like, don't do it all for the money. That's interesting, the world, okay. Page of Cups. Six of Swords. So with the Ace of Pentacles here, there is something that I feel that if you put more time or invest more time into it, learn more about it, you could produce more money from it. With this Ace of Pentacles, you can get nice things, Pisces, but here's where it gets real interesting is this King of Pentacles. It's not all about that one thing. How are you feeling? How are you connecting with God? Do you feel grounded? Do you feel passion in your life? Don't get stuck anywhere. There's that mockingbird. I don't know if you hear it. I love hearing the mockingbird. But yeah, it's like saying, like, don't get stuck anywhere. <laughs> no institutions. No attachments to people because of <clears throat> what they can give you. You know, something that's coming to my mind is, um, you know, this whole Diddy situation. And um, yeah, and I can stand that guy back in around... I think it was the 90s or the 2000s when I used to watch the shows like making the band and I hated the way his persona was right then and there I stopped I was like nope not paying attention to him um, but anyway a lot of people look what's happening to him today he was a freight train there was no stopping him it was all about the money it was all about the power the money, the power, the respect, right? And I saw me somewhere on the internet and he said, 
Now, now the way everything is playing, and Mace was a person that was under his label and got taken advantage of by, by Diddy uh, financially and other ways as well too. And um, he made a decision to part ways and he found other outlets. Maybe he didn't make the money that he would have made in that freight train. But I will tell you this, and he knows this, he probably would have went down with him as well. He saw what was happening. He saw the demonic in all of that. He saw the, the toxicity and the attachments and he chose peace. He didn't choose money, he chose peace. And again, I walk a fine line with that because we live in the real world and we gotta pay our bills. But um, there's a way of doing this and this is what Spirit's trying to tell you. No one's going to be able to tell you which decisions to make. Only you can do that. But one of the ways is if it makes you have to look over your shoulder, if it makes you have a guilty conscience, if it makes you um, not feel good about yourself, if it doesn't wake you in the morning, making you feel alive and grateful every day, it's like that's probably not the route. If it makes you sick, if it makes you crazy, here's Page of Cups. That's my crazy card. This is like the alcoholic crazy energy you know like just out of balance out of whack you don't know what you're thinking you can't how are you going to hear God like that how do you hear him like if you lose that connection how do you hear him then you know like you can't how how is your life going to be everything that it was meant to be if you can't take a minute to feel and hear what's really going on God wants to take you to a new world. This reading is very deep. I don't know if everyone's going to understand it because I'm like struggling to give like examples and but I'm doing the best that I can. But God wants to take you to a new world. He wants to let you close out old chapters of your life or things that just were not working for you and start focusing on the things that are because that's where the magic, that's where the manifestation is going to come from. The world is crazy right now. We got boats hitting bridges. Diddy's not the only one. There's, there's so many other people. Why are they targeting this one now? It's better than him than none. I get it now. But there's so much craziness. And God's like, let me take you out for a second. Because this is the only way you're going to make it in this world at this time. You can either be in the world. <laughs> What's that say? I may be in the world, but I am not of the world, right? God wants to take you out for a second. And I, I'm trying because this is an important message for a lot of you. Get off the hamster wheel. Get out of the cycle. Yes, there is a feeling here like things are about to go down. You're right. And he's giving you a clear way of how you don't fall into it with them. It's not going to be about how much money, status, and power you have. Did he? Example. It'll all catch up to you eventually. So that drive is wonderful to have a drive and a passion, but it's even more, it's even better to live a calm, peaceful, fulfilling, knowledgeable, clear, clear, conscious, clear everything, mind, life, and the money. And the money, Pisces, is there. God is promising you this as well, too. It's kind of like that Mace thing that I heard. Like, you know, he may not have had the money staying with him, but he found it in other ways and he is good and he is fine. Clear conscience. I'm not saying you guys are working for a crazy record label company, you know. I just, it's an example. That was an example, basically. All right, I do have the Six of Swords here. So in the Six of Swords they show rough waters right and then you're moving into some form of calmer water 
more peaceful water. You take your peoples with you, the people that kind of rely on you and they can't see what's going on in the world. They can't see it. You see it. How do you guide people? These people willingly go. They sit in whatever boat that you bring them. Why? Because you feel right. You feel strong enough to do this, to make those tough decisions that other people are not able to see or make at this time. Why? Because they're in the hamster wheel. Here's the hamster wheel, Pisces. How much more time I got to invest? I did this thing. Okay, so now there's this person over here and then this person, you know, I have to wait to die and then I have to go over here and then this and then, you know, how much money do I get from this and then this, if I invest in, and put all this stuff in here. When is it going to come? 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 Look at the sick with worry, Pisces. Sick. <laughs> you know, make yourself sick. Crazy too. This is not the time that I'm clearly feeling God say to please use discernment because I want you guys to get everything you want out of life. If it like I told you, like if it you have the passion for it, if you feel the clarity in it, if you have the knowledge for it, if it's not making you sick with worry, those are the ones that you get rid of. Those sick with worry, the things that are making you unstable or making you go insane those are the things so but right now there's a simpler form of life and in this simpler form form of life you will get much much more than what you want no attachments to people control like nothing can control you that's what I'm getting here like nothing your higher self is never controlled by others, by the money. And then boom, it happens anyway. Like he said, that, that keeps popping in my head. All right, let's see what the outcome is. Nine of wands, mm. four of pentacles. You have a lot to process and unload already, Pisces. That's what the nine of wands and the four of pentacles is telling me. How do you take on more? Hold on. How do you take on more when you already have enough? Do you get headaches, Pisces? Do you feel tired sometimes? Do you like get annoyed? Are you like there's an, a quick to anger sometimes? Like I saw a meme the other day and I was like, it was hilarious. It said, Am I getting are people getting stupider or am I just getting angrier? I don't know. Figure it out, right? I do feel like they're getting stupider though. But the point is there's a lot to unload and process. And you're taught you've you've I think all your life you've busted your hump, Pisces, to make things happen for you and it's almost like a, a switch where you have to kind of learn to shut it off for I don't know how long but shut it off God is telling you let me take you out of what's going on in this world let me show let me show you how to survive let me show you how to move in an industry filled with vultures that was Jay-Z you know but mm, that's a whole other story right over there but um yes let me show you how to move in an industry full of vultures so there may be something, Pisces, in your life that you're considering on being with or doing. And it might disrupt your peace. I'm going to keep it real with you. It may not. Some of you are ready to go. So use discernment with that. Because there is a clear message for a lot of you that I am feeling here. And sometimes it's better to kind of just unload what you already have or what you're already going on. I'll give you another example. It's like, okay, let's say you're into real estate or fixing houses and flipping and you purchase like 10 houses, right? And you have like, all, you know, all these, why couldn't you just do one or two? 
why did you have to do 10? If you're in that three of one status where you're like, because I'm there, biatch. You know, yes, okay, let me back up. Do your thing, honey. Do your thing, honey. But if anything is resonating with, with what I've been saying, then maybe it's cut it down a little bit. Maybe we could do five. You do the five, maybe you do it even better. Maybe you sell it even faster. Maybe you run into the right buyer. It's gonna be all the timing, right? Like timing. And you get more money than if you did all 10 at the same time. Maybe it just, you don't know what's gonna happen. That's the point. You just don't know how it's gonna turn out, how you're going to be. Maybe you'll be a little short with someone they don't want it to work with. You know, you just don't know. There's so many elements. But you sell someone on that right time, like that moment, because you're feeling good. And they're like, you know what, I'm gonna work with you. As a matter of fact, yeah, I'm gonna take all them houses. You know, I don't know, I'm just saying, I'm gonna work with you, you know, and work, you know, because you have a good attitude. High vibrational energy, your highest form, three of wands, Pisces. It could do so much more than putting, having so many different pots that you cannot spend time or energy with. And this goes with people too. Sometimes, you know, you want to fix relationships and be with a lot of different people. Why not one? Try it with one. Maybe a little bit here and there. Give it a little more than you've given it before. All right. What's the advice? Even though I feel like that was advice. But let's see. <clears throat> Ten of Wands, let it go. Yes, Pisces, the Ten of Wands. Knight of Pentacles, slow moving energy. Do I not know what I feel? Didn't I say back breaking work? Yeah, there it is. Use discernment because I could feel some of you like I could take, I'm there, you know, like I, I could do these things. There's not a lot, but there are some, and I want you to go get it. But a vast majority is like, you gotta drop some of them things and slow down. Why are you going so fast? You might blink and miss life. And more importantly, you might miss one of these pentacles here could be the magical pentacle. Like you're like, I got this pentacle, this pentacle, these pentacles, and it's like, this one's like hiding back here. I kind of feel like it's this one. How would you know which one it is? It, you'll know. You'll feel good in it. You'll enjoy it. You'll learn from it. Yeah, it's never ever easy, Pisces. Don't know that because I did feel that, but you will. You'll you'll feel it out. You're a Pisces. You can do this. But make sure it's something that's coming very strong to me is use your, your mental power. You have a lot of mental power. Um, and be clear. So if anything is taking you away from your mental power, um, craziness. Um, and when I say crazy, I say it with a lot of love. You know, then you need to work on that. Um, addictions, anything, Pisces, you need to work on that. Addictions to people. You know, phones are addictions as well, too. So... <clears throat> All right, let's do career and money. We're going to use these. <coughs> so sorry, guys. I wake up first thing in the morning. Take a break, Pisces. And when I say a break, it's like a break from the worrying. How like soothing, like, um, it's easier said than done. Yeah, yeah, it is. Some people won't make the cut. Some things just won't make the cut. But God's telling you it's going to work. I feel him. All right. Spirit, tell me more. Wow. Nine of swords. The work. Knight, Knight of cups. Page of swords. Two of wands. <clears throat> my goodness I'm so sorry I don't even bring water all right um
taking a minute here because I'm trying to figure out if these are two different people because I kind of do see it. But then at the same time, I kind of feel like these are two different people inside of you. Like you're trying to be kind to yourself. The two different people that are inside of you, one of them is trying to be kind to yourself while the other one is telling you that you're not doing enough, that you need to do more. And it, it's leading to this worry. This is where the worrying is stemming from. Sleepless nights, anxieties. It's like you're trying to be kind to yourself, but you're also worried. A page of Swords is like sometimes a person that maybe they pick their battles, but they're still battling, right? It's like, why are you still battling? What, what is this internal battle that you're having? What are you seeing, Pisces? Are you seeing something that's making you battle more in, within yourself? Maybe you should stop seeing it. Ooh, train. <laughs> Ooh. Thank you, train. There's something that you're seeing that's making you battle within yourself even more. And you need to stop looking at it. If it don't feel good, don't watch it, Pisces. <clears throat> that's what I'm getting here. You know that, for example, um, I don't know if you've ever, I'm just going to give an example. Okay, so sometimes, Pisces, let's say you look at someone's page or let's say you're like paying attention to what somebody is doing. You can call them into your life. And if it's a negative thing, you will also call it into your life. So be very cautious of what you're looking at, Pisces, because you might see more of it. So if you don't want to see something, don't look at it. All right, let's do the O shows. Sometimes you can't help yourself because a lot of times page of swords for me is telepathy as well. Just knowing things, being ready for war when something approaches you or comes your way. And that in itself can give you more worry. Be good to yourself. Be kind to yourself, Pisces. Spirit, tell me more. We got experiencing, sorrow, and patience. And I do a flowering in the reverse. Like I said, there's something, one of these pentacles, for example, that you could be doing really, really well in, in life. And I just feel like you're not investing the, the time or the energy into this one area because you have so many other things going on. I do have experiencing here which it was reverse and to me it's like go hug a tree Pisces go outside like I don't, I don't know do something that you want to do you know go for that walk do more elements like of things that you want to do as opposed to things that you have to do you might be pleasantly surprised I feel like God is saying if you take that next step and if you go there you might surprise yourself on how you still make it to where you want to go with a lot less worry and aggravation. And there's that sorrow, Pisces, in your challenged position. You're, I told you this. I said this yesterday. You always fight some type of pain. You're always fighting some type of demons. You know, it is what it is, Pisces. When people go through trauma, PTSD, nine of swords, you're going to go, you're going to have to deal with it. It doesn't stop you, though. I don't see where it stops you. If anything, it motivates you. But I think you need to have a lot more patience with yourself. Here's the patience car and why everything is happening. It's like, patience, Pisces, calm down, chill. Stop beating yourself up. Are you running ragged? Are you getting raggedy out there? <laughs> I'm sure you're not because I know you guys. But um, this is just a reminder that it doesn't always mean just because you have so much going on doesn't mean that you're going to be successful. I feel that very, um, like, do you want a happy life? 
want to stop looking at whatever's making you unhappy or making you think differently and start living for yourself. And when I say living for yourself, it's like, don't let anybody influence. You don't let any institution or anybody influence your decisions. It's like that whole P. Diddy thing. Of course, you must have fun. In his mind, that, uh, that that's your version of fun. But it must have been great to have people jump you know, when he was doing that show, making the band, it was terrible. I had to stop watching it, the way he treated those people. And I then never again did I pay attention to him. Because I was like, nope. Not my energy. Just because you got power like that, you're like dangling a record deal over these poor kids' heads. Toxic Pisces. So have some patience with yourself. Go enjoy life a little bit more. Go grow. There's flowering there. It's in the reversal. You got a lot more growth. You got, like, she's in the lotus position. Do what you do best, Pisces. You work with the spiritual realm. People work with the physical, right? And this is your confirmation. If you already are in that energy of working with the, the spiritual and you got people around you that are hustling and bustling and the more I achieve and the more I, is the, I grow and the more I achieve, the more I grow, and, you know, and this type of energy. And you're just like... I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to calm down. I'm going to take things slowly. Nine months, that's what it takes for pregnancy, Pisces. Like, the baby can't bake that quick. Why do you think it takes time? It's a miracle. That's at work. Miracles sometimes take time. It takes good energy, too. It's like that mother energy. It's like, again, we have the mother energy here. It's like... You know how they say, like, if you go through a lot of stress as a mother when you're pregnant, and this is just an example, then your baby's going to take on all that stress. But if you do, if you take that nine months of pregnancy and you take the good energy, and I'm going to advise this for all my, you know, pregnant people out there, or eventually if you do get pregnant, because I did not have the easiest experience. I was on survival mode, you know, and yes, my baby cried a lot when she was born. And, you know, because she dealt with all the stress. It was intense. So I thought she was sick. I gave her to the doctor. I was like, is she calling? And they were like, no, she just likes to cry here. You know, and then I realized it was just that struggle survival energy that I was in that contributed to that. I'm not, I truly believe that. I truly believe that, Pisces. So it's like that pregnancy energy, right? Where it's like, if, what if you took that nine months? What if I took that nine months? It's an example. And read good books. <laughs> Wish. Took long walks in the park. Ate healthy foods. I know it's easier said than done, but you gotta strive, Pisces. You gotta work for it. You gotta figure it out. Talk to God a lot. Pray a lot. Find things that make you peaceful. Like I said, if you're looking at things that are not, don't look at it. Look away. Break the cord, break the energetic cords and connections. All right, Pisces, I hope you like the reading. Please like and subscribe, and thank you.